I'm gonna change into my, my paint pants now. Close your eyes, it's gross. Okay, you can open. I actually had to hem these, like right here by the butt, because they were a little too big on me. So like, snatch now. <laughs> It's really early. I, I can't even speak. I don't even think I said er. It's really early, early. I feel like I can't even say that correctly. In case you're wondering the time, 6.27. What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Alex and I'm currently getting my MFA in painting here in Miami. Trying to get better at that intro. So I was thinking the other day that I haven't really showed you guys my art process here on my channel and every artist has their own way of doing things and I kind of wanted to just walk you guys through the way I do things here in my studio, what I do as soon as I get here, what I do when I paint and whole nine yards. This is a piece that I've been painting for a minute now. Not for a minute, like two weeks, I guess. My God, it's taking me two weeks already. <laughs> I gotta hurry up. She's coming out nice so far. I'll, I'll get to the rest of the piece now. Let me just show you what I do as soon as I get here to my studio. Wow, that's really squeaky. Usually like open my door and close it. I'm taking you step by step. Typically I'm carrying all of this, including a smoothie, which is in my fridge now. My bag is so heavy. Speaking of my bag, let's see what's in it. If I could show you what I like to bring to my studio and like what I kind of need to make work. Lately, this is the bag that I've been bringing to my studio. It's just a purse. I used to bring a book bag, but that's way too heavy, honestly. Like my back's like breaking from that. Hi, this is my beloved bag. What should we put in here? Laptop, I mean, no brainer, laptop is go-to. Then we have, I mean, also no brainer, headphones. There's always classes going on outside. So these are literally, um, especially the noise canceling ones. <laughs> Chef's kiss. iPad, in case I'm editing a video, doing some reading for class or what else would I do on this thing? That's pretty much it. Oh, lately I've been looking at reference photos on this. Finally put my sketchbook in here today, but typically I bring my sketchbook. This is my tripod to my camera, but this is like the shorter tripod. I usually use this more at home. That's pretty much like the essentials. So that's everything in my bag. So after I put all of my things down, I kind of clean up my studio a little bit. Today it's it's relatively, you know, decent. So we don't have any work to do there in that department. Yeah, I'll typically clean up my space before I start to work because I have this thing in my brain where like I can't work unless the area is clean around me. After I clean up, I literally do this. I put my legs up on the stool. I open my laptop and I check my emails. I don't get emails, but I check them, you know, regularly. <laughs> You never know. I'll check my emails or I'll just go and see if there's any work that I need to get done before I start painting, before I get my day started. I check my socials and I just kind of slowly work my way into turning my brain on and getting ready for the day. Cause just going straight like into the painting, like chill. That's too much for me in the AM. And then once when I'm done there, typically I like to go on my phone. So I do a little bit more of this until I'm like mentally prepared to paint. This could take an hour or it takes 15 minutes. Just depends on how I wake up that morning. So we're just gonna be here for a second. I woke up at 5 a.m. I don't remember the last time I woke up at 5 a.m. Felt like I was getting up for like a school field trip or something, going to Disney in eighth grade. Th those were the vibes I was getting driving here. Maybe it's just, just me. Yeah, okay. After sitting in that chair for whether it's 15 minutes, 10 hour. I eventually make my way over here to this area of my studio and I will assess the painting and kind of see where I'm at for today, what I need to get done, what I'm aiming to paint and just how she's looking overall because that's very important to me at least. Pretty happy with how it's turning out so far, but not sure of a few things. Not sure of how I feel about like this part of the grass, this little area, only because it's a little less detailed. Another thing is the chair. She's throwing me off a bit and I'm not sure if I like that yet. I think once when I start painting, it'll start coming along, but as of right now, going through a rough patch. I think eventually when I'm done painting this side and potentially the truck, I'm not gonna finish this top half right here. I'm gonna leave it in charcoal because I really like how that looks. So to wrap up our assessment, I think today I wanna start painting the skin. So there's a little hand right here that I can start and then work my way over here to face, hands, and legs. Also for some of you who don't know, I paint on raw canvas, not primed, not gessoed, literally just straight raw canvas you get from your art store. If you ask me why, I, I'm psychotic like that. So yeah, painting skin today, sick. 
great, now we know what's on our agenda. So then once when I know what's on my agenda, I like to make my way over to this section of my studio, which is the paint section. We have some cleaning up to do. Usually this is the case. I like to start with a fresh, clean palette before I paint every day. Unless I'm painting the same thing the following day, I don't clean it up. But in this case, these were the colors that I was using for the chair and I'm done with the chair, so we could toss her out, which is fantastic. Look how pretty she looks. Seeing a clean palette gets me really excited. This is a reference that we have. There's a photo that we're working with. So I kind of like analyze and see what colors I need for that. I'm gonna lay out my colors now and that's pretty much it. Then I just get to work after. I'm also gonna change into paint pants today because I'm wearing my new jeans, which by the way, these are my new 501 90s that I got from Levi and you guys, I'm obsessed with these. Like, I, I live in these. Like, I practically almost sleep in these. I also had to like hem the bottom because I'm freaking short, but look like a pro. But yeah, I have these Levi's on. Then I have this little top that's actually like, I think it's from Polo, but I got it at Urban. It was like one of those like rework pieces. I've had this for years and I always get so many compliments on it because I mean, look at it. <laughs> Super cute. Um, and then have on Sambas, which have also been go-to. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, that's the fit of the day. I'm gonna change into my, my paint pants now. Close your eyes, it's gross. Okay, you can open. I actually had to hem these, like right here by the butt, because they were a little too big on me. They're like snatched now. We're gonna look in our handy dandy toolbox to see what we're working with. Skin tones is definitely like the number one thing that breaks me out when I paint because it's a very hard thing to get right. What colors are we gonna choose? I don't have any burnt umber. I just have raw umber, raw sienna. Yeah, that's a problem. Maybe some cadmium yellow. I also like to throw a little red in there. We have those, we're gonna do a red. So I guess we'll do, we'll do a deep red. And then I like to add a little bit of blue to even it out. We're gonna put cobalt blue there. I'm gonna write down really quick all the colors that I need to get at the art store later today. Once I lay all my paints down, it's time to time to paint. I'm ready, I swear. I'm just gonna pull up my reference. Cue little paint with me video montage with some jazz music in the back. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed getting a glimpse into my art process and seeing how I work as an artist. Make sure to like, subscribe, and you know, the whole nine yards. Remember to stay cool and I'll see you later this week.